finally made it out of the airport. Got about a two hour drive to Rocky Mountain House. And then we got about a two week horseback ride up the mountain to hunt sheep. And I just got thinking about what that horseback ride's gonna be like coming out if we don't get a sheep. Two weeks is gonna seem like six months. It's actually two days, but it's gonna be quite the grind for someone like me that's not quite a horseman. Sawyer is. Which I'm gonna let them know right when we get there. Sawyer's really good on a horse. So that, that way they give him the crappy horse. And I won't, won't have to tell them anything about my horse skills because they'll recognize it right off when I can't put my boot in the stirrup. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you again. What's your name? Gordon. I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Visibility is not so great. So they really haven't been able to see anything for the last two weeks. Hopefully, we get up there and get settled in and start finding some sheep. Now I'm starting to get really excited. Now this is the the beginning of this sheep hunt, but in some regards, it's the end of this quest for all four of the North American wild sheep. Hopefully, with any luck. Get this big one down, and it'll be a pretty incredible accomplishment. about 6,000 feet, which isn't that high. But it's 5,700 feet higher than I live at. <sighs> that was a long, long ride in. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for my legs to recover. And we're halfway. Tomorrow will be very interesting. Pretty sure that my legs will permanently be like this for the foreseeable future. Gordon said the only good thing about me going out is for you guys to be able to eat well. We don't have to eat backpack food. Mm -hmm. Are you literally going to hold that there the whole time? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I say Kyle and Gordon are like? And Dan are like, yeah, just let it cook. <laughs> yeah, just leave, okay. Leave her be. <laughs> Get going this morning from about four o'clock this morning till six, six thirty, whatever it is right now. Temperature decreased drastically. We got the fires going. Definitely have an extra layer of clothes on this morning. But today's the day we get to start hunting. So hopefully the excitement like <clears throat> numbs the in my butt for the horses. If not, I'm in trouble. But I think it will. Got a couple hours to the pass. And just start sheep hunting. Ready.
these horses are like time machines. Time goes by so slow on them. But finally made it into camp. Pretty cool, we saw three rams on the way in. One pretty close to legal, which I can see that's gonna be extremely difficult to, to judge him. I mean, that one we saw today was super close. A lot of glassing, a lot of horseback riding, and we're really only like halfway done. <laughs> Gotta go back out. We're making a lot more fun with the sheep on the back of one of these horses. So tomorrow's the day. I'm quite sure we'll get on the horses again for another five hours, <laughs> and then <laughs> go hunting. Oh, city girl. All you gotta do is break a 13 flat. Okay. Come here, Shady. Sick girl. Now, number four. It's starting to get a little thick. <laughs> I just looked, it was two degrees. Yeah. It's the morning of day six of our hunt. It's probably one of the most beautiful mornings of hunting I've ever had. Some really crappy days the last two days with lots of snow. We ought to be able to spot the rams really easily today, so hopefully the snow's pushed them into some new areas that they haven't been in in the past. We can catch up to one. as quick as we can. Perfect day of hunting yesterday with zero tracks in this area. We think we either have a mountain lion problem or a wolf problem. Found a couple deadheads this week which indicates that, that could be an issue. So we're just going to move on down the valley a little bit and see if we can find another spot where the rams are and hopefully get on one today. But everybody's kind of hurrying around getting things packed up so we can move out and have a little bit of the day left to hunt. Weather shows we have about three or four more good days left in this hunt. So hope we get it done. Well, day 14 of the hunt, last day, last chance. I really want to get this ram so bad, but maybe it's just not going to happen this trip, which that's how it goes sometimes, but it's been an absolutely incredible experience. Wouldn't really done anything different. It's, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. So until next time, if I don't get one today, we'll have the quest for the Grand Slam another year.
deja vu all over again. Opening day for our bighorn hunt. It's not uncommon to have some tent time on some sheep hunts, but at least we've got a pretty nice tent. Sorry, kept the fire stoked all night. Let you go out and see what we're talking about. This is pretty much the exact same picture we got the last time we were here when we woke up on the first day. That's not ideal hunting weather. Zero visibility. So we're gonna spend a little bit more time today in the tent. And the forecast does show to clear up some tomorrow and later in the week. So for now we just wait. Day three, it's a beautiful day. Uh, the plan really today is just take what we can on our packs. We got one pack horse. We're just gonna go out, pretty much stay till either we get a sheep or run out of food. clothed inside these sleeping bags in what Cabela's calls a two-man tent which I guess it is but this is eerily similar to Azerbaijan Yeah, I got it. But <laughs> hang on. The other night, we were camping out. I made a rookie mistake. I slept in my socks. Boots were sweated out from that day. Socks never dried out. The next day, we had a pretty good hike up the mountain. We got a bad blister. We got a lot of days left. So two options: feet in the freezing river or some silver horse spray that they've convinced me might work. So I'm trying this one first. You're shivering up top. It's, it's cold. It's real cold. And that's all I can handle. That, that's really That's it? Handle. That's all I can handle. Well, third time's a charm. Just now coming in. It's a beautiful day. Uh, we're going through the section that was burned uh, back in 2017, I think, back when Dan got his room. We've got four or five more hours to stay to halfway camp, and then uh, hopefully we'll make it to base camp tomorrow. But definitely third time's a charm.
to base camp. It was rough riding in, terrible weather. But I hope it's gonna get better and uh, maybe we'll find a sheet, no matter what the weather's like. So tonight we'll rest up and tomorrow we'll go look for rams. Hopefully, third time's jump. Hell of a shot, dude. Yep. Oh. No. No, he's, he's good. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> You did it, man. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 Scott Creek Outfitters, the boys Glenn and Gordon, Rob and Brenda, Justin, and thank you so much. Congratulations. Oh, this has been, uh, I'm at a loss for words, but I mean, I have to thank my family for all the sacrifices they make for me to do something that I love. And I mean, to cap it off, this is my Grand Slam round. I couldn't have asked for more unbelievable experience.